Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. I have been really busy off screen for quite some time refining a whole bunch of parts. I actually had to do some mining as well. And we're going to take a look at what we've done because we're going to use this to build our grinder ship. So here we have, we have 13,000 steel plates, 3,000 interior plates, 670 large steel tubes, almost uh, 3,300 thruster components. We probably actually need more, but I need to mine more platinum. Anyhow, we have 2,600 steel tubes, more than enough grids, 2,000 reactor components, which is exactly enough for our large reactor. We have some gravity generator components in case we want to make a gravity generator. We have radio communication components. We might put an antenna on it. We have bulletproof glass, which we need to make the connector tubes. We also have a lot of motors. We might need more, or it might be enough. We'll see. We have girders, detector components. We'll probably put an ore detector on it. Not that we're going to really use it for mining, but meh, who knows. We also have displays. And going back to the, to the detector components, we might be able to put uh, grinders on here if they ever imp implement like a large ship. Gr uh, I'm sorry. Uh, drills if they ever implement large ship drills so we also have almost a thousand computers and 15 medical components which is exactly enough for one medical station <clears throat> all right so well energy's getting low uh, keep our jetpack on we'll fly through this door all right and it's back on out of here. Slowly but surely. I might need to put more retro thrusters on this. Might be a good idea. So this episode is mostly going to be just a couple of montages of us finishing this large grinder ship. I would make it a regular episode, but unfortunately, <laughs> it'd probably end up being like two hours long, and couple that with the fact that for every minute that you see in game, it takes about ten minutes to render the f footage, so that would be an incredibly long time before you'd be able to see this, so that's why we do montages. That and they're pretty cool. Maybe. Or something. Alright. Let's park this pretty close, so we don't have to fly very far. Yeah, that's 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 pretty close. All right, we'll get on out of here. We can turn off our jetpack. We'll extend the gravity field, so it'll make working on this ship a little bit easier. And depth, we'll still leave it at 0.6 G's. We don't need it at a full G. Oh, speaking of which, I should have checked and see how much uranium life do we have on this ship, or how much energy... F we have eight hours of fuel, two days worth of fuel. Okay, more than enough. All right, well... I suppose we should get started with that uh, montage. Well, before we do that, actually, let's get some stuff in our inventory. Might as well be steel plates. Because we're going to need a lot of them. Especially with this front being heavy armor and all. Alright, well, enjoy the montage. See you when we're done.
Alright folks, and we're back. I think we're done. <laughs> I've been working on it for quite some time. I don't think there are any more things that I need to finish. I mean, there are quite a few things on this ship, so I may have missed some. I hope not. But this is what we have left. We have some interior plate left, some large steel tubes left. We have some steel plate. Not that much, considering we started off like 13,000. We have some metal grid and some small steel tubes. I also had to, off-screen, I had to make some more components, mostly thrust components and construction components, to finish this. But here we are, in its glory. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to put Gatling turrets on it. Well, we'll do that at another time. So here it is, our large ship grinder. Or our large ship grinder ship, or something. I speak words, sometimes. Anyhow, so here we have ten large ship grinders. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to grind off that, and I forgot to turn that into a heavy armor slope block. Oh well, that's not the end of the world. So here it is. This is just all light armor, mostly one thick. And in here, you should be able to access the... Yep, you should be able to access the nuclear reactor, and we have some uranium in there. Oh, I know what I forgot to do, too. I forgot to put a gravity generator on here. Oh, well. Wait, then where did my gravity generator components go? I swear I had some. I had six. Huh. They mysteriously vanished. Probably I dropped them on accident. Yep. Typical me. Alright, and here we have the door that goes to our cargo container. So whenever we grind things... They will go from the grinders, through the tubes, into the conveyors, through a tube again, into the large cargo container. And then in here, we have a passageway. Let me turn this off. We'll use the gravity from that ship, because we don't have gravity on this ship. And we can fly up. When we hit the top, 180 degrees, and we are in the cockpit. And in here we have our cockpit station. We also have a medical bay in case anything goes wrong. Hopefully it doesn't. But knowing me, it probably will. And, well, we can't undock because our landing gear isn't finished yet. So we'll just grind that away. Um, in this version of the game, in this particular patch, the conveyor tubes don't necessarily work, so they won't automatically transport things from the grinders to the conveyor tubes. But what they will do is they'll keep them in here, or they'll keep them in the large grinders, but when I'm in the inventory screen, I can just transport them from there to the large container. So, And this is, I would say, it's our biggest ship that we've built yet, certainly. I mean, it's about as long as our ghost ship. Speaking of which, if you come up with a name with this, feel free to leave it in the comments and we'll we'll name it that. I don't have a beacon on it yet, but we can always put one on. Um, but it certainly is a lot taller than the ghost and the functionality of it is gonna be pretty nice. I mean the ghost is pretty cool too because it it's our nice cool transport ship and the fact that we've used it means that uh, it was nice that we've made it. Alright, now let's take our... Where did our... I must have accidentally dropped more than just um, my gravity generator components because I'm missing my welder. Oh, wow. Well. Maybe I accidentally threw it in a container somewhere. But now that this is free of its shackles, we can see how well it performs. Hopefully we're not going to be using more energy than we have in our large reactor. And hopefully... We don't need any more gyroscopes, because I believe we only have three on board. Hmm. I wonder how many we have on the Ghost. That'll give us a good, uh... Estimation, I guess you could say, of how well this thing will handle. We have four. Okay, so it's probably going to handle like crap. We're going to probably have to put more gyroscopes on board. Because this is certainly going to be a lot heavier than the Ghost. It has more armor blocks, it has more conveyors, conveyor tubes, and all sorts of things. 
So it's definitely going to be more heavy, and it doesn't have as many gyroscopes, so... I'm going to want to add some more of those, probably. Alright, now let's uh, hope we don't crash this. This is a brand new ship, so... Alright. Let's see here. Let's thrust upwards. So we avoid the ghost. Yeah, look at all those thrusters going to town. Alright, then let's take the grinder. Put it in our toolbar. Let's uh, rotate this around so we can see. Hopefully we're far enough away. This thing certainly is quick. We're only using 20% of the power, so I think this is more than good. I don't know if you can hear it, but those grinders are going to town right now. You can kind of see them spinning. So, we're going to have some fun eating our mine layer. Because why not, you know? We've had it for so long, and we haven't really used it. Well, we've used some of the parts, but not all of them. This is a pretty quick ship. Let's see how well it stops. Are we feeling lucky? Yeah, we're feeling lucky. It's thrusting. Eh, I think we're going to come to a stop before we hit the asteroid. Okay. So we indeed are lucky. Or skilled. I like to think we're skilled, not lucky. Alright. We know the depth that depth perception is pretty terrible in space, so we're going to have to try not to crash, which is a tall order for me, because I tend to crash as if there's any object within a mile radius of me, so... We're also going to want to put Gatling cannons on here. But, uh, that's for later episode, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Let's start grinding. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh wow, that was some brutal lag. I'm gonna have to do something about that. But, as you can see, these grinders are going to town. They're eating all the armor. So this will make uh, scrapping ships a lot easier. It's, it's taken away several blocks at a time. In fact, let's just go into our inventory screen. And we have... Wait, is that what's on us? What? How on earth is it going directly to us? I would imagine that it would go to the grinder. Hmm. Okay, well that was weird. But uh, now when I do grind, it does go into the grinders. I don't know, I had to reset... Uh, I had to exit and reload the game. And now it seems to be working just fine, so... After grinding this, we'll go to inventory, and there we go. Our grinders have metal in them, so that was weird. Anyhow, that's how we do that, and we can just transport them to the large cargo container so we can pick them up, just like that. I'm guessing next patch, they're going to re-implement the conveyor tubes. So, that's that. Thank you folks for watching. If you have any suggestions for next episode, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I always read them. Thank you folks for watching. I will see you guys next time.